My name is Brian Garish. I'm with Weber Grill Restaurants and I've been with Weber now for about 20 years. Uh, we're affiliated with the uh, manufacturer of Weber Grill Restaurants. We are the exclusive licensee and so we run restaurants where we cook on authentic Weber charcoal grills. There's been a lot of challenges that, that change a little bit with, uh, with the times. Uh, I would say in today's world it's definitely finding a staff that, that really understands hospitality, is comfortable with what hospitality is, and uh, that, that's our most uh, difficult thing in today's market. It's very easy as a restaurateur to be just in one place and where you're in constant contact with every single staff member, every employee, and you're able to personally uh, teach the principles that we think, again, create that, that special uh, hospitality dining experience for uh, a customer. But when you start multiplying your locations, you're just not getting around uh, as much to be working one-on-one -on -one and, and have some of our key staff there working one-on-one. -on -one. So it's really more about finding individuals that you feel uh, understand and buy into what our culture is and our principles and they're able to carry on in your place uh, without having a lot of our key uh, executives and managers around. I think it's, it's uh, relentlessly pursuing what is hospitality, what does it take to make a dining experience. Um, it, of course it falls back to is it a great, is, is the food great, is, it, is, it, is the hot food hot, cold food cold, is the staff friendly, but it's really so much deeper than that now where people go out and they're spending the money and they're, they're, yes, they're looking for the meal and the service and things like that, so that has to be there as a basic, but they also want to connect with uh, the, the staff members that uh, not only do they feel like, well, this was a special evening for us, but we, we really made a connection with that person who was making our drink or at our table or the chef came over, something like that, that there was a feeling that, that not only did we have a great time, but the staff had a great time uh, uh, making this experience for us. So one of the ways we find and retain our top talent is we, we do the interview, 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 but once we feel that this person has the uh, raw material uh, that, that, that's really in their makeup and in their DNA, then we'll bring them into our uh, training programs. And that's, that's where it really goes beyond an interview that you can tell if that's how they behave when they're under pressure, if, if they're uh, able to stay calm and give direction and still be paddling like hell underneath the water but still smiling above it. You know, that's real key for, for managing a big busy restaurant on a Saturday night. <music>